Hi, welcome to another edition of Transcribing with the Music Transcriber. Today we'll be looking at a plugin I've written called Check for Nested Slurs or Bowings. This plugin goes through a score looking for any slurs that occur within another slur, or uh, cross endpoints, or even share an import uh, in a lesion, if you will. Uh, these types of slurs are okay for some instruments, like a piano, uh, but are not correct for other instruments, uh, like stringed instruments, which uh, many times composers confuse uh, slurs as a means to show a phrase versus what it actually is for most players, which is a uh, bowing. Now you could use dash slurs for phrasing, um, and then smaller regular slurs uh, for bowing underneath it, and that's fine. And there's a way within this plugin to uh, ignore dash slurs. Uh, but in general, uh, when a composer puts a slur within another slur, there's usually a better uh, way to notate it to prevent confusion during rehearsal. Isn't that, after all, the, uh, the main goal of the engraver? Um, so anyway, I, I find this in all kinds of scores. Uh, even the best composers I work for, when they're copying and pasting from one instrument to another, they have this error. Or um, they're, you know, just writing and they're not thinking necessarily about the logistics of, uh, uh, of the notation and what it actually means. Uh, so I find this a lot and I, uh, I also find it to be a pretty arduous task to go through looking for these things. So I wrote a plugin that does it. Um, but I, I was getting sick uh, essentially of how plugins work. Um, the proofreading plugins always output uh, an annotation into the score or to a trace window, the locations of all the errors, or they select them all, uh, something of this nature. But there's no real plugin I found that actually makes my job uh, that much easier, that much quicker. I mean, they usually help me find everything, sure. But then I got to go through this lengthy, ta different type of task, which is looking at a list and figuring out where things are, o or trying to delete all the annotations that it's made from my score. So I created a really neat way to approach proofreading, um, which is an interactive mode. So you run your plugin, and the first dialog comes up allowing you to do auto mode, which is like most plugins, it will annotate the score or write the locations. Um, but interactive mode is the real beauty of this plugin. It's going to allow us to uh, interact with the plugin as it makes, uh, uh, as it locates all of these errors. So uh, when you click interactive mode, a dialog comes up with a few options. The first is to process nested slurs and bowings. And you probably want to keep this on because in interactive mode, you can either just go through and view them, uh, which is what happens if you turn this off, um, or if you keep it on, as it finds each error, it will allow you to process it. Uh, either hiding it, uh, deleting it, uh, selecting it. Um, so we want to keep this on. Over here you have an option to locate the nested slurs. Um, and what this does is uh, it actually locates them at the end. You know, it'll give you a log file of all the locations. So you probably want to keep this on so you can check your work. Or if for some reason uh, when you were interacting, if you chose not to delete something, you can come back to it later and you know where it is. Over here are uh, two real parameters um, that will help, you know, based on the type of music you're processing, will be uh, pertinent. The first is to ignore voice, voice numbers. Uh, I would recommend uh, leaving these both as the default, which is off. Uh, ignoring voice numbers will say if there's a slur in voice 1 and a slur in voice 2, uh, they will be treated as the same voice. Uh, and that's that's good for uh, I, violins because if it's just one player, there really shouldn't be a slur in both voice one and voice two. They can only bow <laughs> with one bow. Um, ignore dash slur is, is what I was talking about earlier, which is some people like to use a meta slur uh, as you know, use a dash slur for their meta slur and smaller slurs underneath. Um, but this type of music, the score I'm working on, I know doesn't uh, use that convention, so I am not going to ignore them. Also for the fact that if they are used, I want to know about it. Uh, and then I'm going to apply this to the whole score and click OK. And here we go. We're in interactive mode. So what it does is it finds all the spots. Well, firstly, it puts you in a panorama mode so that you can uh, see all of the staves. And I recommend uh, that you, before you run this plugin, you zoom in quite a bit. And the best thing you can do using Sibelius plugins is have a mouse with a scroll wheel. Because even when I'm in a plugin then, I can scroll up and down. And this helps 
especially in a plugin like this where it's interactive. In fact, it's one of the only ways to do it if the score uh, contained more stabs. I would have needed to scroll up and down. Uh, and this is because Sibelius doesn't allow for zooming within a plugin. It does, however, allow us to open up panorama mode and to uh, move the view to the current, the bar that we've selected. So I'm in interactive mode here. And when it finds an error, I get this great little dialogue, the action window. And it's a dynamic window. It changes, uh, you know, based on what error it's finding. So it tells me that I have a nested slur in bar 43 and a solo violin. So solo violin, I can see because I'm in panorama mode, is the first step. And here's bar 43. And it appears there is indeed a nested slur. There is this one longer slur and this one uh, inner slur. And the inner slur is what it's considering the nested slur. And I want to delete that because I know that it's an error. So I'm going to click process and it deletes it. Then it seems that we have uh, another error in bar 59 of violin 1. Uh, and it may not be apparent to everybody what it is here. Uh, but it is definitely a uh, engraving error, or composition error, whatever you will, which is the slur coming from bar, the bar before it touches the tip with this bar, and that cannot actually be played on a violin. It's, that's not correct writing. Um, so I'm not sure what the composer had in mind here, which slur should be shorter. So I'm going to select it only and move on. My next issue is in the viola. Oh, and we have another one of these elisions here. You have a slur coming and then going into this one. And in this instance, I'm also not sure what the composer would write, so I'm going to, uh, well, here, because it's such a long note going to half note, I'm going to choose that this is incorrect, and I'm going to hide it, um, because I don't want to delete it. I still got to ask him later, but I think it's incorrect, so hiding is the next best option, and then click Process. Uh, our next is in the viola in bar 61. Oh, and... Uh, it looks like we have quite a bit of damage here. There's all kinds of funny slurs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start deleting these. Delete, and there's another, it's catching the next, delete it, and there's one more I see. And I'm going to delete that. Or actually, let's skip that one and make a note of it in our log. Uh, also skip it. And it gives us uh, the entire log of where all of the errors were. So I can uh, give this to the composer, uh, and he can look it over, or she can look it over, and make sure that it's all, um, it's all as it should be. So that's this interactive plugin. I hope you guys find that to be as cool as I do. Uh, I've been using it every score, and I want to go back and turn every other proofreading plugin into an interactive plugin like that. Uh, because why run it and then do all that stuff uh, just to have to go back and fix it on your own? Um, so please, uh, please check out my website. Uh, it's themusictranscriber.com. Uh, you can find all the plugins there, and this plugin is on uh, the store there, actually. It's on the last page of the store. Uh, or shoot me an email with suggestions. Um, look forward to hearing from all of you, and I hope that I am making your engraving lives a little bit easier.